All right, hello guys. Today I'll be showing you how to use pathways in using GML or Game Maker language. Is so pretty much pathways is like an object moving on its own. It's kind of self-explanatory. An object following a path. I'll show you, give you a quick example of what a pathway is like. So here we have an asteroid and it's just moving around following a path that I've set to it. Now, I'll show you how to do that. So first let's get rid of this. Go into Windows, Resources, Paths. So I already have a few paths from my other game I'm currently working on. So I'll create a new path, path underscore five is what I call it. And now here is the path. So I can set points and it'll follow the points, but it has coordinates and you don't really know where that corresponds to your room. So what you, what you can do is create new path layer, select path, in my case I just used path 5, and now I can set it so I can go here, then it'll go here afterwards, then it'll go here, and you can kind of do whatever you want. Now in my case, when I have when I'm having an asteroid moving, I want to not just go in straight lines. I can, if I actually want it to be curved, so in that case, if I go into the path, there is a setting, smooth curve, and it smooths it up. So now, what I can do is now I have to apply it to my object. So just bring out any object that you've created. In my case, I'll be using this asteroid. Oh, gotta make sure you're in your instance layer. Here we go. So, if we edit object, we want to make a create event, and then we'll do the code. This you don't have to do this, but with parentheses, other, other, which it means applying it to it. Not so. Let's say we have something that applies to asteroid five. It doesn't apply to all asteroids five. It just applies to this asteroid five. Then we do path underscore start. Then we'll do I book it path five parentheses with speed two parentheses, which you can have. You can set the speed to wherever you want. That's how fast it'll be moving. So speed. Let me double check if this is correct. Resources. Which one? Here we go. So, with other path start, path two. So in this case, is following it with speed four. And you want to do the path action, which I I'll go over very brief, briefly. So I'll just make this the same as what I'm doing right now. So path four, then path action action and then you have a, a few options here continue restart reverse stop continue keeps on going restarts is when it hits the end it'll just go back reverse is it'll reverse it after it reaches the end and stop is it'll just stop afterwards in my case what i'm doing i'm doing action path action underscore continue right here and then then you have whether it's relative or false whether re whether it's relative or not. So if relative means that it's actually going to follow right where the line is. So Mike, right here, read the line. If if I have it down here, it's going to teleport it to where the beginning of the line is, then follow the line exactly. I don't really want that right now, so I'm going to set it at false. False. And end it. And this should be right now. Once we play it, we should have our asteroid moving in the path we set it to. Yeah, so here we have our path asteroid moving its path. Obviously, it's going off screen because it's. It's not relative. It's not relative, so it's following the path, and it's going off screen. I wanted to do that. So that's how you create paths in Game Maker Studio. It's not that easy, and well, it's, it's actually 
it's fair it's pretty easy you just need to you just need to, just need this one line of code create a path create a path layer on it and then make sure it's in the create event all right thanks